Hey, Eleanor. Thanks for stopping in. What's happening? Uh, got this kicked off here. Hope everybody had a great weekend. And, uh, yeah. So watch the ads if you're, uh, you know, willing to. Or at least a couple seconds of them. So I have, uh, let me, I'm going to drop the StreamYard link again here. See if I can do this. There's the StreamYard link if anybody uh, wants to come up. So far, we got uh, six watching. Oh, we're down to four now. Was six, now it's four. Hey, Ben, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping in. Uh, of course, if you guys watched, uh, if you guys watched uh, Twisted last night, I know that uh, we did not go pulling last night. Uh, we had some really uh, bad rain, heavy rains. Uh, they canceled the pool. They reposted it or rescheduled it for next weekend, next Saturday night. So hopefully it uh, is a dry week and we can get this benefit pool uh, headed out. So you know, we got somebody down in the basement. Let's uh, see if we can bring them up. There we go. Hey, Major, what's happening, buddy? What's going on, Ed? Oh. Getting comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I get everything set up. That way I can be out here. Nice. Yeah, so, I show. Hey, Bachi. Uh, hey, Lisa. Bachi, show. Yes, but, nice. um, I went up going over to uh, Best Buy today after um, Chris's son had to get his uh, uh, some earbuds that, that were uh, messed up. So I looked at getting another computer. That way I've got something for out here in the garage all the time. Looks like I got one picked out. Just got to wait to see back getting it. Today? No. Cool. Cool. Hey, Zombie Mori, Willie, VA lady, how you doing? Uh, I think I said the show. He's here, Ken. What kind of trouble you been getting into today, Ed? Uh, I mowed grass. I finally got my grass mowed. It's been, a, been like a week and a half since I mowed wow. my grass. So. How you doing, Ken? Doing good. Uh oh, Time. we got trouble. Yeah. The other trouble in the house. How's the vacation going? Dry today. Yeah. A little wet yesterday. Oh yeah, it was a lot wet yesterday. You you were probably driving just right along with it. Oh, we're in Maryland. Yeah, at a ski resort with no snow. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for the beer to get cold. How are you doing, Jeff? Oh, we're doing, Major. How about you? I'm doing good. Oh, we're doing, Major. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Brandon's here. The party can start. That's right. So, yeah. So, did you go uh, fishing today, Mark? Mm -hmm. how'd, how'd you do? Two. Two. Two saw guy. When to fish fry? Uh, when I get some more build up. I uh, see that. You ain't building up a, a stash of them fish for a fish fry. Not it too, huh? Well, you got a lot of Amish you got to compete with, man. They're all over them things. They catch, they keep everyone they catch and grind them. Make a I fish know. fry. Yeah, I know. Maybe you ought to go Amish, Mark. That way you can keep everything. <laughs> hey, Bo, what's happening? Yeah, so I had a nice birch beer for you today, Ed. Did you? 
Yeah, they got the best first beer out the show I was at. They got ice cream too, man. Their ice cream is kick ass out there. Nice. I had that there, yesterday. Uh, there's a steam show, kind of a old time festival down below where Mark lives down there, and they have a homemade ice cream maker. It runs off a hit miss engine. That's some really good ice cream. Ooh. I've never seen so many hit and miss engines as I did yesterday and today. There are people that's got like 10, 12 of them lined up running. Mm -hmm. Those things are a lot of fun, though. Oh, yeah. I used, I used to run a, kind of a hit and miss engine sort of deal when I worked in the oil field. They're little woodies and yeah. stuff. Um, if they're if they're tuned right, they're easy to start. If they're not, you will crank your butt off. Hey, Breezy. Hey, well, Breezy, what's happening? We got um, what do we got? Two steam tractors and two rollers out there. They're all steam. And a bigger roller, you would never not believe. It's a 70 year old lady that runs it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's a, there's supposed to be a big steam show, uh, heavy equipment type deal over in PA somewhere. They have it twice a year, spring and fall. Uh, I've seen it on another channel. I'd like to check that out. Um, they've got a lot of like drag lines and stuff like that. They oh, run. Okay. Yeah. I, I know what you mean. It's not, it's, hey. it's not. In, shit, what is it? It's not rough and tumble. It's a different thing, I think. Yeah. Hey, Patch, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping in. I'd love to go to the rough and tumble because they actually teach you how to run that steam shit. Yeah. That's like a that's like a two and a half hour ride for me, or even more. Yeah. Hey, Lucky, long time no see, brother. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, Eleanor, uh, hit miss engine is. A, basically a single cylinder engine and it hits on whatever it fires what every four revolutions mark something well, like was that. There, I didn't know that yeah, yeah. i was um, the one riding around a little orange tractor all weekend there willie oh, oh wow oh see so you got you guys should have talked, man. He could well, have I, I don't even know who he is. I, I yeah. probably passed him about 10 times and didn't even know it. I know I left early yesterday. I, w I was going until about 1230. I said, I'm going to stop and take a break for a half hour. So I parked over next to the Jeep in the shade. Next thing I know, my phone's ringing. I'm looking around. It's like, what's my damn phone? I finally found it. I called the number back, and my brother, he's like, where are you? I said, where are you? He says, I'm up here by the tractor pulls. I said, well, just keep walking straight down. I'm on the right. So him and dad come walking down, and he climbed over ropes, and he's looking at me. He says, he says you know what? You need to go home because you look like you're ready to pass out right now. <clears throat> So he, he jumped in and he showed me where his truck was. Dad took me up there and drove his truck home. And my brother drove the Jeep home. He says, you ain't driving. So did you get to pull anything, Jeff? Was it pull for you? Or? Yeah, I was pulling a little trailer around, picking up garbage cans all weekend. <laughs> uh Right. Oh, okay. He had all right. I know where he was now. Yeah, I passed him probably eight, eight or nine times yesterday and didn't know it. A bunch of times today. There you go. Ben Ben did a, did a really good explanation of what a hit miss motor is. Um, I just I didn't I knew how they worked. I just couldn't explain how how it worked. <laughs> it's been one of those days. You know, so 
Yeah, they, I mean, I they, know they sound they weird some... when they're running. They're like, yeah, I mean, they sound like as if they're about ready to die on you. Yeah, but it's amazing for that once in a blue moon they fired and things and things probably work work better than these new mo motors. Yep. Yeah. Well, they got they got them big flywheels on for the uh, inertia. They yeah. Keep spinning, you know. Uh, yep. Keep them running. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got what they call the steam shed. They got. I think it was six of these big steam engines, you know, stationary ones mm -hmm. inside the one side of the building. They got this huge ass boiler outside that they fire up first. They start that about six o'clock in the morning so they can build the steam up for the for the day. Yeah, they down there at that uh it's called the Aguanqua Mill Festival. They have a big steam uh mill, it, actually a, a grain mill. And they they do all kinds of grinding and stuff, and they've got a couple big steam engines down in there. You know, I just I like watching the steam engines. There's just a lot going on. You know, every everything's outside where you can see what's happening. You know. Yeah, I wish I knew that was the, uh, I was um, there. Yeah. The um, yeah. Of course, the, the I got the table and everything for the. Uh, Top tool, I got the uh, side lock uh, mounted, and I already got the uh, end cabinet mounted, and that's all done on a video. I got posted about a week or so ago. Oh, yeah, that would be neat, Willie. Yeah, I, I would, I would, hey, Patrick, it's happening. I would love to own a steam engine, but there that's too much maintenance for me, man. <laughs> that's a lot of work going into them. Yeah. Hey, Everything Donnie, you gotta you keep doing? oiled on it. Yep. Well, and you, you gotta keep your boiler clean, make sure it's not, you know, all the rivets and everything are solid in it, and there's a yep. there's a lot going on. Uh I think you have to have them yeah, inspected get, every uh, year. Water tubes and everything. Yep. Because I know them water tubes, you got to get in there uh, every now and then with a big old long brush and clean them out from all the uh, calcium buildup. Mm -hmm. Depending upon, you know, how big an engine, you know, how big, you know, one of those you've got, depends upon how long a brush. Got a, oh a my big, goodness! Outside. You you uh 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 locomotive steam engines are my uh, one of my hey, passions. <laughs> Hello, I actually was on. Um, I actually oh, took so a look just, onto the Chessy Steam Special, which was one of the oldest running locomotive engines back in I think it was the eighties. There weren't that many hey, actual hey. running old steam engines then. Toot toot, I'm an engineer. Well, they got this big ass huge um, 100 horsepower awesome. diesel. It's a yeah. thing. The flywheel on it is like 10 or 12 feet around or across. The exhaust, I mean, is, like, ones, right? the exhaust is about. Eight inches across on each cylinder. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Good evening. Yeah. Oh, he oh, said that exact yeah. word. I gotta, I gotta say, my main worry again is that I don't want my car to get the old lady syndrome. Even though I rarely shop more than a mile from my house, I always make sure to heat that engine up. Get that temperature gauge where it says I'm warmed up and blow it all out. Because you can't just barely <laughs> drive it and park it. You're going to rot your exhaust and everything else, right? It's yep. already an old car, old people car. Well, yeah, it's over 10 years old. I taught three teenage girls how to drive on it. Yes, it had lots of alignments, a couple of scratches. 
but nothing major. I think I got really lucky, and I mean like little key scratches around the, the keyhole. I'm extremely lucky there, I think. Sorry, Three guys, teenage I'm, girls. I'm gonna go. I'm one car, go. and they're all Sorry. alive. Three, they're all alive. Hey. You survived. You survived. You had a night. Where's the echo? Is that not me? Is it? Had chicken and rice. No, I don't know who it is. Oh. <laughs> So got Patty's performance stopped in. How you guys doing? Ooh, I got really upset. Have fun. I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you in probably about 30. Uh, the, the truck told me it needed an oil change. You know, that thing comes on your dashboard that says change oil soon. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I went and got the oil changed and it came out. And it was bright red. I mean, like practically clear and bright red after a year. I was worried that something had gone wrong, but apparently it had just been a year. So I need a new oil. Willie really probably yeah, see my tractor where I park it over there. I was parked between the pull track and there's a souvenir building. I was parked next to this um, 656 farm mall. I started out under under a tree next to it, but next thing I know, there was an Oliver parked there. It's like, damn it, took my place. You should have just pulled him out of the way there. Well, I was going to park on the other side of the tree, but the branches were hanging real low. Yeah. I wonder if my flex has a place for, like, toe straps or anything. No. No, we don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and when I bought it back in what, 2011 or so, and they offered me an off road vehicle sticker, and I said, No, I'm sorry. I'd like to keep the transmission. Thank you. <laughs> well, nothing wrong about going off road, just don't get stuck. What are you eating there, Sandy? Did you go get ice cream from Mark? Yeah, she did. Ain't she a sweetie? Huh? What? Ain't she a sweetie? I know it sounds weird coming out of a Yankee like me, right? <laughs> no. It looks like I ice cream. I got dinner. I got cottage cheese because I'm eating some cottage cheese right now. Oh. He's got I have three hot dogs today. Roast beef on the other side. I cook with cottage cheese. I don't understand about eating it raw. No, I like it raw. Well, I do too. Okay. I bought, I bought hey, two big tub. I, I bought two big tubs of it and went through it in like two days. Have you guys Not ever seen it. this, this weird like thing Disney called food. party cheese salad? Ooh. I've seen it on the internet. Party tea uh -huh. salad is like live jello, cool whip, celery, pimentos, peppers. Uh, and oh man. And then it firms up and you eat it. Uh, I'm the same I'm the same way. My uh my newest vehicle is a two thousand and I got track I got a riding mower that's newer than that. I got oh, the 93 goodness. Jeep and the 71. I was amazed when I was riding around yesterday and today. You know how many old people had tractors like mine? I was talking to one guy for like over a half hour yesterday. He was telling me all about his tractor, and he was telling me all the stuff that mine could have had and all that. I learned how to drive on a 73 Newport. Yeah. You know, Chrysler Newport and the the bonus of it was before I learned to drive on it, my mother had totaled it. So the frame was a little crooked, which made it even more interesting to drive. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I learned how to drive in a uh, sand rail made from a Volkswagen bug. <laughs> well, and then I, when I went to college, it was 700 and... Wait, no, it was 520 miles in 7 hours and 20 minutes with my little stick shift. 1.7 liters. And damn, this thing could get it off a line faster than a Corvette if he wasn't paying attention. Because, <laughs> you know, stick shifts. Only thing right. is, after a while, my idle circuit went. So I had to keep bump starting it at every light. I had to keep, like, letting it roll a little bit so I could bump start it and make the engine go again. And if I actually stopped it, I had to turn the key and start it again. Yeah, I got to figure out something on my tractor's pain in the ass when it's after it's been running for about 15, 20 minutes. You stop and get off it. You can get back on and push the clutch in. It's like, yeah, actually just got to yank it in gear. It's like the input shaft will not stop spinning. And I know there's no adjustment on that. All right, Mater. Oh, if you get, see, if you get them, if you get them taken sorry. care of, you're welcome to come back. I did transmission engineering. Input shaft and output shaft actually mean something to me. <laughs> uh, I wish I could get mine to stop turning there, so I ain't gotta keep grinding shit out of it, and putting it in gear. Oh my! Oh. Um, a and D. A and D went for for a ride on his golf cart today. <laughs> Crossed the yard real quick. Mm -hmm. Hey Thomas, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping in. It's no reason to behave. Well, for <laughs> you it might be. Wait, no, he's not worried about women here, is he? She looks like she's not going to mind or be offended, right? Do you have delicate sensibilities, or are you a gearhead like us? I missed something. What did I miss? <laughs> I'm asking the blonde girl, does she have delicate sensibilities, or is she a gearhead like us? She, she's a gearhead. <laughs> she's, she's, she's probably worse than us. Is that a trick question? No, it isn't. I'm okay. a gearhead. I was a transmission engineer. I was an automotive engineer. I've worked. I've done it all. Diesel, uh, gasoline, uh, hydrogen, uh, transmissions, engines. Oh, man, I've been around the block. <laughs> hey, look what Pate's put on. But see, as a software engineer, it doesn't fucking matter what I'm programming. Just yeah, give me the specifications. Mm -hmm. Right? Why is my plug so black? Carbon. Burning rich. Yeah, it's burning rich. I'd have to smell your tailpipe, but that would be my guess. What's your tailpipe smell like? <laughs> No, I'm oh, no. serious. I, I <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that one there. We're not gonna answer that one. No, I go through various, I go through various parking lots, and it's like, no, that one's lean, that one's rich, that one's lean, that one's rich. You know, you can smell it. And having worked on fuel economy and emissions for 25 years. Yeah, you can smell it, and you've got the gauge right in front of you to confirm that your smell knows. Uh, talk, talking about smells, I started my tractor up yesterday, or, yeah, no, Friday. I missed that smell. Do you? Sandy doesn't yeah. even have Chrissy socks. <laughs> Hey, Destroyer, what's happening, buddy? Thanks for stopping in, man. Yeah, well, Destroyer, if the other kind of pipes building. smell, get the hell away from it. Man, not supposed hey, to I, smell bad there. I was headed out to the flea market yesterday, and there's this little fat kid driving a, he's driving a Cub Cadet around all day. And I see him, he was just standing there, and he had the hood up, and he's looking and looking and stuff. 
So I stopped. I said, what happened? You broke? He says, no, I ran out of gas. I said, you ran out of gas? I said, where, 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 where are you parked at? He says, oh, way up there. I said, well, it's a long walk. No, I already called Dad. He's on his way with, with a can of gas for me. Something is just not hitting right here. Oh, shit. That's right before I drive my car again. I got to go straight to the gas station. I'm down to 70 miles on it. This is still got the cover. That's there. like a quarter tank. No, I didn't pack a It's definitely fuel. The thing is, I don't like to go gas up my tank alone. I like to take the big man with me so I feel safe. Did I sniff his pipe first? No, I don't think so. Well, I would, <laughs> but he's my hubby and his pipe always smells nice. <laughs> I got a couple uh, of good hits in it. A cold no, smell, I mean, so. even if I take my teenage sunny boy with me, Teenage Sunny Boy is about this tall. How I tall? feel much safer. What? This How tall. tall? Nice. I mean, <laughs> we're looking up to him now. Even the hobby has to look up to him. And I'm very proud. He grew up. Isn't that wonderful? They get big. <laughs> Oh, but, you know, he left this morning without even a word to me. But because it was at that certain time, I know he just went to church with his buddies. Because it was Sunday morning, and he always goes to church on Sunday morning. So he doesn't feel like he needs to wake us up and tell us. Looks like Thomas needs to go change his drawers. Uh, indeed. <laughs> I feel you, brother. You just long. You just you were just along for the ride on that one, man. Am I, I missing think the side chat? Wonderful that he loves to go to church. He he keeps trying to convince me to go there, but I have bad experience being raised Greek Orthodox. Where here in Michigan, I wasn't allowed to wear pants or shoes. I had to wear sandals and a skirt to go to church in Michigan winter, and fuck that noise. <laughs> Now, that's not very nice. No, it's not very nice to say that women are second class citizens and can't be protected against the elements. How does well, that you make me on, more godly that I can't wear shoes? They got to wear boots and pants. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, 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 nowadays, it doesn't matter. You can identify as whatever you want. Yeah, right? Oh, yes. I, that's the thing. I've been a miss forever. Not a missus or a miss, but I've been a miss because I don't think my marital status depends on my, my name doesn't depend on my marital status. You're still a mister forever and always. <laughs> she likes to, she right? likes, likes to party. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just be me. Uh, no, yeah, that's Whether anybody that's likes it or not, I'm me. Ooh, that sounds good, pa Patrick. And that's just it. Um, and see, we can all worship wherever we're at and be spiritual. We don't have to put up with the horrible stuff the church did to us. That's not really godly what the church did. I mean, Christ, my grandmother was one of the founders of that church. My grandfather made the pews and did a whole lot of stuff there. And when she died, there was a new priest and he totally disrespected her wishes for her funeral. And when my brother called him on that, he said, well, have you gone to seminary school? And so against her wishes, they opened the casket anyways. And I'm like, what's the big fucking deal? She wanted a casket closed. It's her body, her choice, right? 
even after she's dead, he's like, no, they all want to see it. Hey, that's not fair now. Willie's tractor can run 10 miles an hour. <laughs> that's about <laughs> eight miles an hour faster than mine goes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Brandon wait. said he's ordained. Brandon says he's ordained. We can hold services right now. Oh, hey, wait. Grandpa Kevin, what's happening? I forgot. I was going to go spend the $45 to be an ordained minister with a card in the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, and then I could do weddings. Yeah. I love the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Because they go in and do ridiculous things for ridiculous laws to um, prove that they're ridiculous. So they're actually, I think, a Christian organization that is proving that special religions with special rights might be ridiculous. Um, for instance, they like to wear a calendar on their head for their DMV photos driver's license yeah they do they do some pretty funny stuff and the pirate life is for me yeah so uh well then, seen, then you're uh, familiar with the church of the flying spaghetti monster <laughs> I, I've just I've just seen some of the stuff that they that people posted about you know what their beliefs and stuff are and what they do and stuff, but you know I haven't checked into them or anything. I think it's all got to be sarcastic and just making fun of what's actually legal and organized. Yep. Uh, I seen Donnie said he's not even ready. He don't even have the cover off his tractor yet. I am not a long, young lady, Breezy. I'm in my mid-50s. I've got over 30 years working as an engineer under my belt. Yeah, I you betcha. Go to Michigan Tech, take a sauna, and go roll in the snow and beat yourself with a Vita. <laughs> So if, if Donnie's still in here, is, are you going to go down to uh, Hopedale next weekend, Don, for the benefit pool? <clears throat> Hopefully the weather holds out so we can make it. I was kind of disappointed. Jason, you're you're more than welcome to come up, buddy. I'll, here, I'll drop the link. You can come up too. Everybody can come up. Oh yeah, I'm not scary. I'll stop talking if anybody else talks. Really? <laughs> no, don't stop. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Um, we had stop signs at our railroad tracks up there in Chassel, Michigan. Okay, way up here, right in Michigan. You may not realize, but Michigan looks like this, right? Up here on the Finland, eh? Up on the Finland. Um, and it's called a thumb. Those, those, the other thumb. Um, yeah, and uh, those train tracks were so rusty, we knew nothing had run over them in years, except for when we had the hobo parade, they would put their hobo cars on it. Uh, and so most people were used to blowing over those train tracks with the stop signs and no one there wasn't ever going to be a train there and then i came back down to the lower peninsula here and there was a stop sign and a train here. track and what's mm -hmm. now the ex-husband blew his gasket because i just barely stopped and ran right through it and he's like wait no that was a stop sign for a railroad track you gotta look for the train i'm like what don't you remember michigan tech these things don't mean anything he's like no down here they do so i was more careful after that 
All right, you didn't even know about it until yesterday when it was canceled. Who got uh, canceled? Uh, a benefit pool we were supposed to have yesterday. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are, are are they, huh? I said, well, they rescheduled it for next weekend, so hopefully the weather will hold out and we can have it. I got to wait until October. I don't really care. Thomas, get up on the panel first, cupcake. Hmm, well, that's awesome, laptop. Ben. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Uh, they, don't they don't work real well unless you get them uh, get them trimmed in very straight. Oh, Patty's report performance triggered me. I really miss my laptop. We called it Black Death. It was a tough book that I had for work that you could, you know, slap into the mount on the car so it wouldn't be flying around if you broke the car. And, oh, it really broke my mind one day. What was I watching? Was it the 100? And the guy actually used my laptop as a weapon and just smash people over the head with that tough book. And I could see how that would happen. And I always carried it in my hand ready to be a weapon and all the cords and everything went in the backpack on my back. But man! <laughs> we need some beer and popcorn for this. Oh, no. I'm hoping you understand Everything is a weapon when you need it. I mean, I'm still looking at the knife that's been in my toilet for 10 years. It fell in, and I just left it there thinking, well, I might need it someday, and nobody's going to expect me to grab a knife out of the toilet tank. No, I don't think anybody would. Well, and I also have my, my knitting stuff. The scissors, the roach clip, even even this crochet hook could work very well for scooping eyeballs. You never know what she's got nearby. And I'm sorry <laughs> to think about things this way, but I live near Detroit. I live near Detroit, so you always have to be aware you know, of your circumstances. And I never pull up to the bumper in front of me. I always leave a couple car lengths. It was always so oh, I pull right up to the bumper. That way you can push them when the light turns red, green. No, exactly. if they can't pull away, I want to be able to jump the curb and get away. Hey, Pedestrians hey. be damned. Hey, Ed. Huh? Are you monetized? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. I was wondering. I was just curious. Oh, he has the join button. He has the join button. Yes, I do. Yeah, 492 more lives. And watch you come up on panel. Oh, it went up again, huh? We were down at four sixties uh, last week. No, I, we're in the four nineties. I think I can declare success for my driving ability for having lived right next to Detroit for more than fifty years. And I'm still alive. Yay. <laughs> There's a whole lot to be said for having your hat up and having your keys out of your purse. Although, yeah, right, Pat Tace? He definitely is. You know, always have your keys out before you leave the business. Never, ever, ever be digging in your keys next to your vehicle. That means come rob me now. Hey, look, Tampa turned real old. <laughs> uh, Uh, but you, I can't count until it gets down to like 20. 
you know. So ten. I just have to go by. I, no, well, well I got, we get twenty because we got fingers and toes. Exactly. Yeah. So whatever whatever number Bocce throws out there, I have to agree with because I can't, you know, I can't go that high. I can only As go with nineteen. To Fibonacci. <laughs> I can only go with 19. I don't know how you guys get 20. Well, that's because you are stumpy. Wait, no. You're not making a joke about that video I watched earlier today. When our mm. man got harassed and arrested by the police. Stumpy. See, I guess she she just said you got an A plus there, Ed. Yeah, she count, she started to count down at seven hundred. So yeah, we're making headway. Couple, couple more years and she'll be up on panel. <laughs> hey Capri, how you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Uh, we're rolling tonight, y'all. Oh, wait, no. I, I don't think you're 420 friendly. I'm going to mute the camera, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're not 420 friendly. So, uh, so, Mark, what are you still eating on? Roast beef, mashed potatoes, salad. Oh, you were busy in the kitchen today? Um, no. Yeah, well, hey, Casey, I wish I could hit it more than once. <laughs> yeah, but if you hit it more than once, you undo it. Just need, you just need to make like, you know, 50 more profiles, and that way you can just hit the thumbs up with all of them. I'm lucky I got the one I got. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> What do you mean Sam got hitched this weekend? Yeah, Sam got married. Sammy got I thought they were already married. Apparently not. Wow. I didn't know. <laughs> now Mark cooks. I've seen I've seen him cook some. I cook too. I can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hey, Wayne, what's going on? <laughs> I love cooking. I threw a Dutch baby in the oven yesterday. Hey, Wayne, what's happening, man? And I loved it. Oh, man. Have you ever made a Dutch baby? Uh-uh. Oh, it's a German pancake. Oh. Super easy, lots of eggs, very little flour, and mm, some molasses on it. Yum. Hey, Junkyard, what's going on? What's happening, Junkyard? <coughs> hey, Crystal. I just seen her in here. I haven't seen her yet till now. She just got in here just a few. She was cooking. Ooh. Hey, Ed, oh. if I go live under Mark's name, won't that count? Yes. <laughs> Leave my name out of this, period. So, I'm going way out in left field somewhere. You guys seem mechanically inclined. Um, my food processor not. Not. sharp blade is stuck in the food processor. And I can't get it out. And I'm thinking I use the same thing that we're supposed to do for the washing machine, where you put the two straps under it and you pull. Because that thing is so super fucking sharp. I don't want my hand anywhere near that. And I, what I think happened is there's like veggie in stuck in there. And that's why it's stuck this time. Okay, Jeff's quiet. Tampa's quiet. He's not saying anything. I'm enjoying this. Nobody's <laughs> saying anything. 
pay, but they're not offering any help. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Can that's you not, that's not... I'm wondering what kind of straps you would use to pull a blade out of your food processor. It's super sharp. Very, very small ones. Hey, Adam. Can you hear me? No. Can Adam hear us? Uh. -uh. <laughs> now he froze again. <laughs> I didn't even know that was him. I'm like, Mark, did Adam get a haircut? Yeah, he did. Oh, he cut. Yeah, I know. I seen that. I didn't even know it was you. It's all gone. Wow. Oh, hey, if you want to look for my channel, that's it. No name, no name 42. I snagged that YouTube handle. I don't broadcast much. <laughs> I'm mainly just StreamYard. <laughs> Hey, Munster. I have like 247 people subscribed. Yeah, Munster said, Munster said, just throw the processor away and get a new one. Don't yeah, take the chance of getting cut. <laughs> uh, well, no, my answer is I'm going to let it dry for a few days, just like the sticky stuff that gets stuck at the top. I let it dry for a few days and then I can wash it out. And I'm thinking after I let the veggie matter dry for a few days, I can pull the thing out. Oh, Earl, I'll find a couple of good strings. Uh, maybe yarn. Would that work? Maybe yarn. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Just need to pull hey, without having my hands in it. See, I got yep, me a new shirt maybe, today. My 50, 50 years anniversary shirt. That's pretty cool, Lord. Jeff. Has it got the steam Hang engine on, ring? Let's see here. We got the, we got the skid winch. We got the Oliver tractor. We got the Little train station. They got a little train set, train, small train there. We got the printing press. I'm trying to figure out what the top of it is. The steam tractor and the hit and miss is in the middle. And then they got the bowl of ice cream on one side. <laughs> and you got a bowl of that ice cream too, didn't you? Yeah, my brother got it for me yesterday. <laughs> I thought about getting some, but every time I looked at it, the line was like all the way across the thing. I said, I am not standing in line for an ice cream. Yeah, that's the way it is down here at the Gronka Mill. Yep. Hey, busy. Yeah, Mrs. V-Twin's always working. Who's the dude behind you, Jeff? There ain't nobody behind me. That's my house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mark, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping. This in. is my hat for the sunny days. Oh, I'm putting on, I don't get sunburned. Nice. I like that. Yeah. Well, it, it's not showing JD. You want me to pull that one out? I got to go downstairs. No, no, we don't need to see that. <coughs> well, there was quite a few John Deere's pulling yesterday. Oh, yeah. Even old guy Bob, I haven't seen him since back in the early 90s. Huh. Yeah, huh. He's, part of, he's part of a place called Lord Farms over here. Not too far from me. Oh, oh Pat. Patrick, you're making me hungry, man. Even though I just ate dinner. I had me a bowl of salad. I had me a salad. I'm going to have my hamburgers tomorrow. I had uh, beef filet, shrimp, and asparagus. Did you make it? Yes, I did. <laughs> is it a cooking video? Yes, it is. <laughs> Wow. Of course. And you really made Bo hungry for that. 
biscuits and gravy. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong with biscuits and gravy. We'll wait and see what the restaurant does. If 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 uh, Carrie, Carrie ever watches it. Yeah. I asked her this morning. She said no. She went home and took a nap, and she didn't have time to watch anything. Oh, jeez. Some deviled eggs. Deviled eggs actually sound pretty good. I haven't had those in a long time. Next cookout, we'll have to make. I got this hat. I never, ever wore it yesterday or today. Back here? Kind of disappointed. Well, I didn't wear it just because it's got this stupid huh? mesh on it, and I hate that stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, deviled eggs are super easy. The thing is, bake your eggs. It's a lot easier to bake your eggs in the oven in the muffin pan and cool them off right after. I'm guessing that's Mrs. Pate, huh? Who? Uh, bocce, that does sound actually good. Fried rice and... Bro with broccoli. Ooh, I I love making fried rice. You have to use leftover rice, though. You can't use fresh rice. I like just to go to the Chinese restaurant and buy it. Oh no, Actually, it's way I, better. It's way better if you make it yourself. It is so easy. A couple eggs and some rice, a little soy sauce. You're almost there. Uh, my uh, my my ex wife makes some really good fried rice. Every once in a while, she treats me, and you know she'll make some and give it to me. I can't imagine feeding my ex husband. He'd think I'm poisoning him. After all, he's oh. done. Oh no, she she likes me now. What's wrong with the biscuits and gravy? I think they were pretty good. Ooh, biscuits and gravy. I keep meaning to make that. My biscuit recipe calls for what? Two sticks of butter to make six biscuits? <laughs> that seems like a lot. And once Ooh, again, I'm a damn Yankee, so yeah, I gotta learn. I haven't pounded a lard and I don't know what to do with it. I think I should have bought a second pound. It's not enough to fill up a fry pan. At least that sounds good, too. I don't make my own biscuits. I use the can. Yeah, I've seen that. That's cheating. But it's quicker, huh? Hey. Jason, I drink coffee twenty four seven, man. <clears throat> Oops. Yeah. Uh, Actually, let's see where, where where breezy go here. I've had three cups of coffee in my entire life, <laughs> and I did not like any of them, and I think I threw up two of them. I got. I gotta have at least a pot of coffee a day. Now, see. On the other hand, my husband loves coffee, but over time, I've upgraded him to, you know, grinding his own fair trade organic beans and brewing his coffee. But still, I gotta pry that coffee pot away from him once every year or two to run vinegar through it to clean it up again. Because you can't just use your coffee maker for years and years and years. It gets gross. Put some vinegar through it once in a while. Oh, and then go use that vinegar to kill the weeds on your driveway. <laughs> I'm going to have to make me a pot tomorrow. I'm falling behind. I'm going to end up throwing away that bag of beans pretty soon. You know what happened to your tractor? No, I didn't tell it. Yeah, I didn't uh, tell it. Did he tell you yeah. what he did to the tractor? No, let's hear it. Yeah. 
Yeah, he melted it that melted the coil down. Yeah. How'd you manage that? Well, I just had a idea that I wanted to regear it before I went to the pool last night and Well you did regear it. Got it all regeared and everything come in the house to get some coffee that I don't enjoy. And <laughs> went back out to the shop. Smoke everywhere. He's switch, yelling for me and I'm the like, switch what? got flipped on. Mounted the coil condenser. I mean, just burned everything. Oh so, man, oil just. Oh oil no, oil. nothing like plastic it smoke. It was boiling. You could hear it. Oh no. Uh, Thomas, uh, to sharpen a reel to reel, that takes a special machine that you have to mount it in that sharpens the blades. It's real difficult to do it by hand and get it right because there's a certain clearance between the, the knife edge and the reel itself. So how about my regular mower? Uh, every couple of years, I think we got to take the blade to the shop and have them sharpen it, right? Uh, I sharpen my own, but... I got a I got a machine at work that does them so. Yeah, well, I don't have that. I do mine by hand. Uh huh. Get the old hand grinder out and do them. Uh, I only drink Maxwell House Junkyard, so I haven't even noticed if it went up or not because that's one of my my pet I don't pet not pet peeve, but one of my things that I buy it. Uh, if it goes up, I buy it. <laughs> I've tried Same lots of other brands. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yep. So I, uh, uh Walmart's the cheapest one because we get that big, huge can at Walmart for like six seventy nine. Yeah. Uh, I've tried the Walmart. I've tried chock full of nuts, Folgers, uh, I like the all the different. All the different brands. I still okay. like my Maxwell House. A grinder is that thing that spins in circles and you hold it up here? Yep. Okay. Because um, my hubby has tools and he won't reveal to me what kind of tools we have. I'm pretty sure we have a circular saw. And he denies its existence because he doesn't want me handling it. Well, that's what the circular saw is for, sharpen blades. What? Circular saw is for cutting wood. Mommer brand things. Um, like making my own miter box. Couldn't tell the difference. That's what I've been doing wrong all these years. I've been using circular saw for sharpening blades. No one is. No, no, no. What I'm saying is the grinder is like round. I'm wondering what it looks like. I should look it up on Google, I guess. Well, I guess obviously Bocce's got a lot of money to throw away black rifle coffee. <coughs> um, I, I agree, Bocce. No time for crappy coffee. That's why I stay away from uh, the chain stores. Shut up. Oh, you are buying crappy coffee, though, if you said I can't Folgers. see paying 20 bucks for a one pound bag of that stuff, though. No, I get fair trade organic for five bucks for 12 ounces. Whole beans, and we've got the grinder. Both the hubby and the son love it. And they're not getting the heartburn or the other bad effects from the coffee. <laughs> no, hubby used to have heartburn like crazy from the Folgers. And I'm like, no, I hate coffee, but try this. Thomas is going to be sound asleep at one in the morning, so I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, Pat, Jason, Thomas is going to make you cry. Look what he did to all them housekeepers. I don't know. I think Jason might make him cry. Who looks like a forest fire, Jeff? I'm trying. 
Now, enough of the world is on fire or flooded right now. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, the only thing is, he doesn't have glasses. Oh, How I got now? glasses. Here we go. How about now? Does that help? Is that better? Do I look smarter now? I don't know. I can't see you. Oh, I'll turn on a light then. Oh, there you are. Oh, my God. Oh, uh. wait. No. <laughs> Yeah, just look at this crazy ass back road. I crocheted this in the eighties. Oh, you gotta leave it running, Ben. Thanks, Ben. You have a good evening, buddy. I appreciate you stopping in, man. I hope I'm not scaring him off. No, he's over in England. It's uh like one o'clock in the morning or something. Ooh, late for them, yes. Yeah. I'm used to worldwide gaming. And that's why I always love to join European servers. Because they were awake in the morning when I was. And um, uh, they didn't speak English like I do. <laughs> so uh, I wasn't drawn into the drama. Because they figured, well, we don't know what she's saying. Jason, he, he's got his little Linus blanket with him. Oh, well, I got, I got this one. Here we go. Uh, here's the one. This is from the 70s. What is this? This is the wolf. And then, what? Uh, uh, this is a unicorn. Is it a unicorn? Got to look. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm? And then, oh, uh, yeah, my mommy actually made me a rainbow unicorn blanket. Looks like horses. <laughs> well, unicorns are like horses with a horn on their head. Oh, no, they've been horned. They're hornier. <laughs> Well, hey, Ed, I'm going to have to cut out. I got yeah, I got a truck I got to get done. It's got to go in the morning. So so what are you doing here? Uh, support. End of the story. Hey, have a good night, Jeff. Good to see you. Everybody, yeah. Hi. I'm out. Got to go. Have a day. God bless. Hey, you Antonio. Say. Hey, Antonio. What's happening, brother? Hey, it's uh, ACM. Yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to remember that in October. Find out if Willie's going that going there or not. That no bums me out. I passed him I don't know how many times and I didn't even know who who it was. I never even Well see you need to get a t shirt, Jeff. It says Jeff from YouTube. Well maybe you'll send me one. Possibility. I'm uh, Wait, my. No, but uh, then we're gonna think your Jeff is here live. He's got uh, several channels. NC Tyrant Hunter. So you can put the umbrella away on huh, junkyard. <coughs> my uh, well, my new logo. I hate umbrellas. My I new logo. Fun. Yeah. My new my new logo has been uh, created and I approved it. And they should be getting printed this coming week, hopefully. So what's it look like? Uh, uh, basically the same as the old one. Uh, the wording's just moved around a little bit. and The size has changed. But uh, I talked with uh, a couple people about getting shirts printed up. Uh, they're going to get back with me on what it costs per shirt. Um, they, uh, I just... I can't see like doing the online ones where they're like twenty five dollars a piece. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't pay a twenty five dollars for for one of my shirts. I wouldn't expect anybody else to. So I'm trying to find a place to get them done. Hopefully, at half price than that. 
Yeah, but still, you got to do shipping. Hey, yeah, I'll be back in about two minutes here. I got to get downstairs and throw my clothes in the dryer now. All right. Too late. All right. Oh, wait. Um, can I circle back for a second? Sure. Circle back. Isn't that an evil word now? You guys talked about umbrellas, and I absolutely hate umbrellas. I did buy an umbrella. Well, I tried to buy an umbrella um, before I went to Arizona for a test trip on the test track. Because, you know, Arizona, if a car breaks down, you kind of got to get out of the car and sit under the umbrella. That's your safety device. I'm not so much for umbrellas to keep you out of the rain, but if the car's too hot and you got to get out of the sun, an umbrella might be a good idea. And I'm sort of pissed that as I was buying the umbrella, I put it on the thing with all the other things I was buying and they didn't ring it up. And then I went back in and said, hey, you didn't ring this up. And they're like, just go away. So I did. And then I went to Arizona with the umbrella. And guess what? I forgot the damn thing in the rent a car. So there it was for the next person, just in case. Bonus. Uh, oh, yeah, Junkyard. Definitely. They will have a pocket in them. I like pocketed t shirts. So. I got a pocket in this one. <laughs> yeah i'll be i'll be sending out new stickers uh as soon as i get them all printed up and stuff so so but uh oh who's yeah. patty's talking about oh him, yeah. him and him and thomas are going back and forth there a little bit oh okay it's not me because, no. you know, I always thought, you know, I was one of the leaders there. If it doesn't matter what you got between your legs, you could do any job you want. I was an engineer in the 80s. And I was an actual engineer, you know, back before we had all that social justice warrior crap. I actually had the numbers and the scores and the degree and the skills. And I did the job very damn good. Although, you know, it was a little disconcerting in the um, early 90s to be traveling with 100 pounds of weird electrical equipment. EEPROM programmers, logic analyzers, scopes, that kind of stuff. And, and yeah, I'm a little bitty engineer. And they're just waving me through it. Through the airport security said, oh, don't even unstrap that from your carrier. We're not worried about you. And I'm like, wait, no. Do you know what this stuff is? <laughs> oh, that's not right now. What? Look what Mrs. Pate said about her hubby. Yeah, but he, he admits it, though. <laughs> so Who's she ain't telling us nothing. Uh, Mrs. Pate's performance is talking about Mr. Pate's performance. Oh. Uh oh, this, this, that don't sound good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, oh, my. I'm I'm <laughs> oh, my. Oh, <laughs> my. I'm blushing. <laughs> uh, well, after after watching the tractor unload video, <laughs> woo. Uh, Jason, maybe you ought to start taking the decks off them tractors. Oh. Why did he have issues getting them off? Or or get longer ramps? One of the two. <laughs> Wait, no, uh, you triggered me again. Um, the tractor thing. Um. What was that thing in, what was it, Back to the Future, I think, with the, they filled that convertible full of horseshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so. All right, guys. You need a trailer. 
Yeah, I need something that's like ten foot. They sell them every day, man. Every every TSC and farm store and everything else. Man. I wouldn't buy a tractor supply one. It's it's not like it's too late for this thing. I'll end up going through it. I'm afraid right. to hook a, a trailer to my six banger flex. I know it's got the thing where I can put the hitch in, but I don't think it's able. I get the Home Depot one, but the thing is, it's eight foot, and this thing's like just under eight foot, so I could strap the back straight across, and then I got to go half foot <coughs> frame and, and and do like double wrap on each side with a strap there to hold it. Hey, Karen, Tony, I appreciate you stopping in, buddy. Um, <laughs> I got a I got a ten foot. Uh, I don't know who where it come from. TSC, one of them places. And I hold my pulling, pulling tractor and stuff on it just fine. It's got a wood deck on it. Well, I've been I've been I've been searching marketplace and stuff here, and it's like people are, people are selling these junky homemade wooden things for nine hundred bucks and stuff. Forget about decent ones. Good night, Lisa. Thank you for stopping in, dear. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to shut this down, too, because it's been a little bit over an hour. I've got stuff to uh, take care of before work tomorrow. So thank you, everybody, for coming in. appreciate it and giving all the thumbs up. Uh, very entertaining night tonight, and uh, we will catch you all on the next one. So have a good evening, and we'll talk to you all later. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.